Hello everyone, welcome to the Skill Talk. In today's video, we will be going to discuss about the new topic. Its name is Reliability Centered Maintenance, which is also known as RCM. So let's discuss this topic with some real time examples. So what is RCM? RCM means Reliability Centered Maintenance. So it is a process which help us to decide what to focus and what to not. So it, it is not just a type of a maintenance, but it is, it is known as a decision making process. So it help us to figure out three things that is WHW. So it is first W is stands for what that is what we need to maintain. And second is H which denotes how. So how means how should I maintain it? And the third one W is known as when. So when this maintenance should be done. So why this RCM is important and why one should follow this uh, practice in his plant. Imagine there is a factory with 200 machines. So should I apply predictive maintenance to all of the machines or run to failure to all of the machines? No. Why? Because each and every machine behaves different. The same thing we learned in our last video about failure modes, but up curve. So this RCM process help us to choose the right maintenance strategy for our equipments based on criteria that how critical the equipment is, what happens if it fails and third one that how we can prevent it or how we can reduce the impact of this failure. So whenever you are applying this RCM process to any of the, your machine or any of your equipment or any of your main critical asset, so you should ask these seven questions to yourselves. So first is that what is the function of this equipment? Okay. And the second one is that how can it fail? Third is what are the causes for each type of failures? So what you will do here that you will be uh, write it down all type of failures that particular equipment can have or that equipment part can have. Right. And each uh, type of failure should be denoted with each type of causes. Okay. And the fourth one is what happened when it fails? For example, if if this part of this equipment is fails so what will be the impact so how does it affect the operation or the safety that will be the fifth point and the sixth one will be that what can we do to detect it or you know you can say that how we can save it and the last one will be that what happen if we do nothing okay so let's go through uh, one of the real real examples so let's consider uh, one example of one of the process fans let's start with our first point so the what what was our first point that what is the function of the equipment so what is the function of the process fan so the function of the process fan is to uh, supply of the hot gases from one uh, part of equipment to the another part of equipment now second thing will be the type of failure modes so what kind of failure modes we have here either the fan will be completely stopped or you can say it will directly go to the breakdown or it will uh, start to vibrate right or maybe you can see some indication of oil leakage or maybe the hot temperature right or it will be running in an inefficient way or or you can say the performance of the fan will be affected the pressure or the or the flow that the fan need to maintain it's not up to the proper benchmark or or up to the proper level so what will be the now third one third one will be the cause of failure so what will be the cause of failure it's because of maybe the uh, issues of the related to the bearing or it's it's uh, issues related to the unbalance or there's an issue related to some kind of a motor fault or coupling fault or some looseness is there. So there can be multiple cause of failure. Now, these cause of failure will have some kind of a effect, right? So the, now the fourth point will be the effect of that failure. So what will happen? Either the entire process will be stopped right or there can be a, a sudden breakdown or maybe there can be some uh, issues relating to the uh, equipment health like overheating or high vibrations oil leakages abnormal sound now fifth one is that how critical are these effective failures are whether they are high critical or their criticality is low so based on that we will be marking the criticality level of that particular effect of failure so now the next question will be that whether these failures are preventable yeah. so the call answer will be yes or either no if yes so then what kind of monitoring techniques or what things that we can use 
to uh, detect them or you can say to uh, identify them so here you can use the different different techniques monitoring techniques like vibration analysis you can use you can use thermal imaging you can use uh, oil analysis you can you know uh, do a proper precision alignment or you can say precisely balance as per uh, iso 1940 so uh, all these preventable uh, actions you have to mark under the based on the criticality level or the type of effect of failure now the next will be the action plan so to save such kind of failures so what can be our action plan so our action plan can be that uh, uh, this equipment is critical so we will be having uh, uh, monthly vibration checks or we will we can have uh, quarterly thermal scans of this particular electrical panel or uh, you can say that a uh, few equipments can be uh, you know come under the uh, plant maintenance or the preventive maintenance whether they need uh, proper uh, precision balancing or precision alignment so depend on the type of excellent action plan we will be creating uh, for the particular section of failure of that particular equipment now what we have with us is the smarter plan instead of simply running this fan to failure or bl blindly you know we can uh, follow the pm schedules like overhauling this equipment every year or replacing the bearings every you can say two years now what benefit we get from this R rcm technique is this that we will be reducing the unexpected breakdowns we will be you know focus on the database decision making right and we will be improving definitely the safety and the equipment downtime will be low fan reliability will be improving and also we will get rid of uh, unnecessary pm works so rcm strategy help us to choose the best type of maintenance practice to be used for particular or dedicated equipment so rcm is a is a is a kind of a tool that you can use to decide which pm or which maintenance strategy is good for your equipment so overall to conclude rcm helps you to shift from guesswork to the smart planning instead of uh, treating all the machines blindly in the same way better you should know that which machine should have which type of maintenance so i think we have covered this topic very well along with the perfect example so guys thank you for watching skill talk <laughs>